Yeah, let's do that. Medical treatment. Listen, everyone. Uh, a protective mother. A mother has refused to let the, the daughter this is let her have a day off. It's it's okay. It's fine. It may may make sense, but that doesn't make it any less cruel. I just hope they won't cut my leg off if I fall ill. I'm not planning to. Who do you think I am? Hello guys and uh, welcome to my let's play of Frostpunk with the highest difficulty which is called, do give me a second, give me a second, the highest difficulty which is called extreme I think, right? Extreme difficulty, yes, extreme difficulty. So, uh, I already played through the whole game, all the scenarios except the paid ones. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. I actually enjoyed it quite a lot, and I also had some opinions to share on the game uh, that is positive and that you should probably buy it if you are really into these kind of games where you try to survive and as such a great soundtrack. I, I, I think this is almost on par with the whole Assassin's Creed one, um, and maybe even Dark Souls uh, soundtrack. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, um, Russell wanted to see more of this game, so thank you for commenting, Russell, by the way. And I will gladly play more of this game for you, where I try to accumulate everything I have learned about the game into one session uh, of, of, like, the normal scenario. But now that I know more about the game, I'll try to incorporate everything I've learned into playing at the hardest difficulty. I kind of see how far I can get. Um, so, without further ado, even though with this theme is awesome and i really love the music choice and the the violins and the mm, so good dang i really can't get enough of this anyway we're gonna start a new home uh we're gonna do survivor mode right um there's no active pause the game will be very difficult i won't do that because in case something happens i don't know if it saves when it crashes or whatever um i don't really know how that works so I will go ahead and customize an area and just plop everything to extreme. That way I'm sure at least that I can somehow recover if something weird happens in the game. And let's go ahead and watch the awesome cutscene while I try to figure out how to do... It needs to be said, I've never played on high difficulty before, I've always played normal. Just, just need to let you guys know about that. So, um, I'm most likely gonna die. And Russell, please don't be too upset if I make mistakes. <laughs> I know you're not too upset. I do appreciate your comments of tips and stuff. Still cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. who remained came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. too good it's too good i i don't i like no intro has ever made me more emotional than this one it is so good it, it represents everything persistent and evolutionary about humanity in a weird way and it's kind of it's kind of just resonating with me in a weird way anyway a new home 
We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the side of this generator only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now. That the world is as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. We just have to. Okay, um, fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal uh, to start the generator. So, let's start by freezing the game. All right, so first things first. Um, I have learned that if I go ahead and keep this generator off at night, people will go ahead and freeze to death. So I will not keep this on at night. Or during the day, I mean. But at night, whenever it gets colder, I will indeed go ahead and... Um, and to keep this one like on at night and then off at the day. So, anyway, uh, first things first, gatherers huts. Um, again, thank you, Russell, for the comment about the gatherers huts. Whenever you uh, you made that in one of my other normal let's plays of that uh, Frostpunk, these two scenarios. Uh, what does it take to make gathering huts? Gathering huts. I kind of need to figure that out first. Um, Gathering posts is what they're called, actually. Uh, 15 wood and 5 steel. So I need wood really fast. Yes, let's keep our engineers because we're going to need those later. And then steel. Let's see, do we have, we have steel pretty close by? Okay, there we go. For now, it is pretty hot, so we don't need to worry about people getting sick. I need to get stuff going as fast as humanly possible as well. Um, children. Do I do I know how many children we have? Is that a thing you can watch or see? I don't remember. I think we can see it here. Yeah. So fifteen children. It means I can get technically 15 more kids to gather stuff and uh, and cook and stuff like that. Um, so I think child labor is the thing I should try to go for. But not before I go for uh, extended shift. I need to get that as fast hear as possible. Me, hear me. New law in the city. Um, I also need coal. And quite a lot of it. Okay, let's go ahead and speed time up. And uh, hopefully we will see things go pretty okay now. Work, work, work until you die. If it helps, I want to keep you guys alive. I don't want you to die. 24 hours on the job? Insane. What? I never asked you guys to work 24 hours. It's an option. And as per usual, we're going to go ahead and... Um, name this one kitty for my patreon member who gets priority of course to to names and then of course because russell has been so kind and give tips to in this whole let's play i'm gonna name this one russell and now you better hope you don't die with me at the helm i can't make sure that won't happen but there's a high chance it might happen so you know we'll, we'll see how that goes then we have odin Uh, then we have, uh, let's see, Hero. Might as well just do this while they walk. And then we have Hugo here. And just for fun, we'll take you and we'll name you Tomori. And then you Mitsuho, because why not? Actually, his name is pronounced Mitsu Ho. I think. I, I don't know. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> this, is how, this is how you spell it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, whoops, my bad. There we go. Uh, now we do actually have some coal. 
I'm a bit more concerned about the wood. Maybe I should straight up just send more workers out there. Just until I get more, more stuff. Um, do we have any wood that is still somewhat close by? I guess this is going to be good enough. I will make everything work a bit more better on, later on. Alright, so for starters... We can probably put one here. Technically, is not necessary yet, but you can't be too safe. Um, so I will go ahead and build one here. I will, whenever I can, I'll make sure it goes ahead and uh, and gets a path. This will be the safe side. Construction. I know how construction works. Is it night time? Um, I'll provide some shelter. Let's put it on. Oh, let's turn it on. 21 hours left. This should be okay. You guys want more tents, right? Can I afford that at the moment? Uh, 10 wood. You know what? I can afford that quite a lot. Although, I still need you guys to kind of build it. Wisdom of the crown. I'll bear in mind. Captain, when facing demand, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Yes, don't worry, I will. I will. Why is this not really... Oh, because it's not built yet? Is that what's going on? That's fine. I would like the pad there. It's temporary, so it's okay. We have a couple days until it gets colder. So, until then, we can pretty much manage. <clears throat> temperature, street. Here we can see the temperature thingy. To see how hot everything is. And right now, everything seems kind of nice. Livable, chilly, cold, very cold, and freezing. It's gonna keep everyone happy, <laughs> I guess. For now, I don't really have anything to do, so I guess I can keep them in there. Actually, I should take the stuff furthest out first, shouldn't I? Already sick people. Please build it. Okay, new law. Extended shift. Yeah, we can do that. New law. A new law has passed. Uh, where did that blob all the engineers? Over here. But now I just need one in here. I just need two, just in case the other one is the sick one. <laughs> I know many will complain, but we must work harder to survive. My father used to tell us we're lucky to work 10 hours. Yeah, that is indeed the case. This is hope it's morning soon, so I can turn this thingy off again. Why is it the pad doesn't count? Uh, is it not con Oh, it's because it's... I'm stupid. My bad. Give me a second here. I'll, I'll just I need to connect it properly. There we go. <laughs> Ignore that. Russell, you saw nothing. Day night cycle. Yep, it's good. Whoops, I accidentally opened something up. Um, then we go ahead and do we turn this off? No, oh, shut down. There we go. Okay, people, a uh, new plan. We go ahead and gather stuff that is alone out in the middle of nowhere. Wood grates. The coal is kind of important.
They're getting all of that stuff. You guys go over here and get this coal. I also need to build more tents. Sick absences. Uh, four sick people. It's a bit sad they're already getting so sick. Like more wood, please. Don't worry, I will improve you guys' working conditions later on whenever I can get more gathering posts. Uh, I have one over here, which means I need one over here too. Just so you guys don't get sick. I'm not sure that works. For now. Heating is off, generators down, that is fine. We're still at minus 20 degrees Celsius. That might seem like very cold, but uh, it's not that cold in retrospect. As soon as that is built, we can have these guys stop doing that and kind of just focus on something else. We don't want them to go around in cold. What day ends? It's time off. It's only right now I can technically afford to have them kind of just walk about. Okay, have some more homes. We can introduce a new law, okay. Uh, hunting huts are kind of important. Don't need fighting arena right now. Uh, child labor, I think, would be a great idea. I've tried child shelters before, they weren't that useful. I don't know if I just used it wrong or whatever it was, but it wasn't that great. Um, child labor, save jobs. There aren't enough hands to do all the work. We'll allow children to be employed in safe places like cookhouses or hothouses. Or in my case, I think gathering posts. They can also be... Yeah, they can also be told to do gathering, I think. But let's go ahead and get all the important people out of there and the children do the gathering. I don't actually know if children do worse jobs than the other ones do. Let's go ahead and turn the generator on for now. Food. Okay, shelter has been built for a lot of people. Uh, oh, we only have raw food? Ooh, okay, okay, I see the problem. Okay, I'm gonna have to build a cookhouse in a bit then. I know, I know, I know food is important, I know, just give me a second. Just wait until daytime at least. Oh, just incredibly sick because of me uh, not giving them food. I already made a big mistake. Don't worry about it. I will see if I can't fix it immediately. Please build that and build it fast so we can cook for people that are dying. Okay, children are now making food. So hopefully that should make the gravely ill not as gravely ill. I'm hoping that's the case anyway. And then hunter's huts, I need to place them far away from the mainland. I guess for now I will place them over here. I'll put two over here whenever I can. Actually, I need this on, I think, if I want those people to be okay. Um, actually, I don't think so, do I? Low risk of falling ill. Oh, this is a medical, it's, it's, it's fine. I really hope that they're sick because of food. One of our people died. Uh, people take care. Open the book of laws. This disposal law. I 
I know they want me to do the whole cemetery or corpse disposal, but I kind of want to go ahead and make soup. <laughs> we can cook soup instead of, uh, of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. So I'll immediately try to get this done. Uh, just so I, I don't have to worry too much about food at the moment. At least until I get the thingy built and, and things move about. Coal engineers, you don't have to work over there. I don't want it getting sick. Here we are, reduce the poverty, such as the price of survival. Now we'll know how the poor aid in the workhouses. Are you guys rich or something? I mean, of course you are. You're on this expedition, aren't you? Um, I don't like how this one's bigger, but I can't do anything about it. Uh, actually, maybe I can. I can try to build one here. And then hopefully I can do something else. I mean, I know I need two more. I have enough wood to at least build them. Two of our people died. I don't know how. <laughs> I really don't. I have food now. I don't know if that's why they're sick. Working, carrying resources. It could be the hunter's huts are necessary for my survival right now. I don't know if that is what's going on, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop having people gather gather the old-fashioned way. Um, go ahead and and stay in warm doors here yeah? and uh, try to be safe. I don't want anyone here to die because of the cold. But if you're gonna do that, I do need other gathering posts, though. Especially ones near um, coal. Let's see, does this one go well with... It doesn't really matter right now, does it? Okay, let's go with that. The generator is indeed down. People from our convoy. Uh, with basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon. Scout Forceland and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. We need a workshop to design plans uh, for more advanced buildings. Uh, how... How much for the workshop? 15 wood and 5 steel. That's fine. I can do that. No problem. I say as one of my people dies. It's okay, I made a mistake. I'll own up to it. I'll go get food with the other people here in a second. That one is not doing too great. Ooh. More research, here we go. Um, I don't care about that right now. It will only raise slightly, it's okay. More sick beds are needed, they say, it's okay. Feed the hungry. Make everyone get home. Or get stuff here. I am gonna need a, another gathering post in a little bit here. There should be homes for everyone though heating us off. Oh yeah, sorry, my bad, my bad. That is completely my bad. Let's get the temperature up again. It's also going to become colder. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and assign someone there. I mean, actually, no. Let's go ahead and assign one child there. assign some people in that one now immediately I should probably go for a faster gathering a cold thumper so no I shouldn't wait I just realized something can I not go I need 50 wood for that one
mosquitoes are super important. You guys are very hungry. Okay, you know what? I can give you guys food next day. How about that? Food will arrive. Just give it a day. Another day, another shift. That's life, they say. Okay, we have food. We have someone making food. We can have children gather and we can have you people gather. There we go. Other people for now can work in there to make food. Is that all the food you guys got? Get back to work. I am actually kind of disappointed about that. that. Is that seriously the all the food you guys got? Generator overdrive, okay. Um, I'm gonna need a cemetery. New law. A new law has passed. Before everyone gets too upset, I will build a cemetery and I'll build it right here, I guess. Right? Yeah, I think that's for the best. Let's put it over there. Then I will build another medical house. Because apparently I need that one. Let, let the people who are starving get food. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, as it should be, knowing the dead will rest in peace is already comforting. Well, isn't that nice? I think that's very nice. That's good for everyone involved, right? They haven't researched anything. Eaters. Let's go ahead and get that one. Probably going to be super important later on. Family torn apart. So a woman came forward after we built a workshop. She said her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she is sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. Uh, how long do I have to do that one? Child injured. Just give him a kid. Give the kid a day off. It doesn't matter. I have to build two of these, but for now I, I need to focus on... Um, on making everything else. Uh, wait, let's go ahead and take this one. And... Um, Let's not waste resources here. That would, that would be great if we did not waste resources. So I take this one and I take you here. And I make you connect right there. Okay, uh, another sick area. 25 wood. Three of our people died. I don't know why they're dying so fast. <laughs> I'm doing everything I can. Another sick post. Here we go. Two of our people died. Hopefully not any of the important people. Maybe. Sick absences. That's fine. You don't really work anymore. How many people do I have left? 69. I want to address this. Hope rises. That's great. They built a cemetery. They like it. And people can now get over there so they're not upset anymore about dead people in the streets. I cannot do a deadless run. I don't think I'm going to be good enough for that. Uh, but I can do... Stuff. Yes, that's, that's all I got. I need to do something about the gravely ill as well. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, going to be bad. There we go. Let's go ahead and put five people on that. And now we should have more people going to get healed in here. 
They're still getting sick like there's no tomorrow. How about that? You guys got extra generator now. And I might as well use it, right? Loss of hope caused by this is halved. I mean, that's gonna be useful later on, but not right now. Uh, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous invitations. The gravely ill will be kept alive, but untreated, hope will rise slightly. We can't have that. that. That's not good. I need radical treatment here. And then we have extra rations for the ill and overcrowding. It's going to be useful too. Yeah, let's do that. Radical treatment. Listen, everyone. Uh, a protective mother. A mother has refused to let the, the daughter this is to have a day off. It's it's okay. It's fine. It may, may make sense, but that doesn't make it any less cruel. I just hope they won't cut my leg off if I fall ill. I'm not planning to. Who do you think I am? I'm gonna have to do over overcrowding though, because you guys are getting ill way too fast. You're doing fine, all things considered. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just because you're probably gonna need another one. It sucks that you need another one, but what can I do about it? Work time. Get moving. You you guys are not getting a lot of food. Oh yeah, I need I think I need to upgrade the um the hunting stuff. Yeah, I, I definitely need to upgrade the hunting stuff. We're getting too many hungry people. The child's plea. Captain, we found a boy frozen in the bone to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. His, he must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up to attend it. Uh, it's always so sad reading that one. I mean, I'll just keep it up until... like like. You can see up here that it's going to get hotter again. I'll just wait until this goes up in danger territory. Okay, where is the hunter's gear? There we go. We need that badly right now. Full pile depleted. Where? Well, over there. Uh, I need people in that one. Does that free up more spots? That's kind of what I want to know. So if I do this and I do this, right? Is that five more spots just for that one? Night is coming. Put down your tools. Do I have engineers working at a place? I probably do. Uh, let me just double check. I do not have engineers working here. So let me go ahead and dismantle that one. Uh, over here I have workers working. Over here I have normal workers working and then hunters are just normal workers. I guess I can't do much about that. Um, engineers. Okay, well. I'm gonna need another one to work here. Okay, yes, it does provide more beds. Close to this time of day. Oh, I thought it wasn't working. Well, oh boy, that's not exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's go ahead and do overcrowding. Using the extra it will cause discontent. Discontent will, discontent will rise. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll deal hear with discontent me, later. New law in the city. There we go. More people work there. Let the kids do the gathering. If we can. 
We need to hunt more stuff. You guys need to work overtime. Worse mornings, better ones too. Yeah, you probably have better mornings at other times, but for now, this is all we can do. Work time. Get back to work. Double ration? No. No double rations. Forget you crazy? More food. Can I make a? Um, no, I can't make a hot house. I have to make you here. Then I'm gonna have to do this. Seal records depleted. That's nice. Doesn't change the fact that I need even more food houses. Seal seems okay, but I need more wood soon. I think I'm gonna start having more people die because of food. I'm also gonna start researching sawmill because I need wood. Okay, just leave it off. That works, right? Just sleeping it off? We better catch a lot. Couple sick absences, but it's okay. Everyone is getting treated. Dang, there's a lot of people getting sick in this one. Way more than before. Oh, beating hardship for what? Shut the captain. Oh, you guys are getting very, very upset. Move. Time to get to work. You guys still haven't found more food. But I need fighting arenas because everyone is getting upset. Um, sure, this can go here. You guys want fighting arenas, correct? I can give you more fighting arenas if that's what you want. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, I, you guys too love me. Love me as much as you can. Food is a big problem. Food is a very big problem. Same thing with people being sick. That's also a big problem. gonna go down again after this uh, okay arena has been established according to the new law there we go people can bring out their anger somewhere else while hurting each other and not me that's what I'm going for harm each other and not me another person died because of their um, starving to death How are you all getting sick? <laughs> the work shift starts. I have overcrowding, I have everything, and you guys are still somehow getting sick. You're not easy to keep alive. Uh, let's see, Hunter's Gear. Can I get this one yet? It gives Hot House. It gives me food. Food is very, very, very important right now. If only they weren't sick. We 
10 wood for that. Sawmill, um, I can put a sawmill pretty much right here and still get a lot of wood, right? Yes, let's put that there for now. Would Grace depleted over here? You guys are inoperative. Is it because there's nothing else near there? Yes. Then we dismantle you. Okay, we have raw food this time around. We just need it to be made. What else can I do? What else can I do? Uh, healing those who can't recover causes sacrificing the more severely ill. No, that is not necessary yet. Moonshine. Um, I remember moonshine being useful for something, but I don't remember why. Let's make a public house. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Build a beacon. I will build a beacon when I can build a beacon. Didn't I get a lot of people freed from... Uh, I mean, here I don't need as many people, right? No, that's, that's children. Let's have children work here instead. And then we have four people here that can work with this. Five people, I suppose. And then we have a lot of people getting food. I wonder why they're not making food rations. Is that from the day before? Please make food as early as you possibly can. Work time. Get back to work. We are getting more wood, and with the wood comes a. I was about to say public house, but. Only 20 wood, okay. There we go, 20 wood. This can also be quite far away. I don't think it's necessary to put this close. And uh, that is also going to be it for this video. My goodness, we are getting uh, pretty... It's getting pretty hectic. We can soon get more people because I, I got a couple of people killed here in the beginning. But, uh, you know, in my defense, I've only played on normal difficulty. So I don't know exactly what the hi higher risks are with extreme. Maybe they get ill more often. Maybe things are more expensive. I don't know. Maybe it's, it, it, the, the generator eats more coal. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you did, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.